You know, I've often wanted to be a hermit, and this is just about as near as I'll ever come. This is Herman's Hermits, and this is Herman. How do you do? How are you? Fine, thanks. You're in Oklahoma City for the first time, and had a great welcome, I understand, at the airport this afternoon. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, now, all of the boys that are with you, I'd like for you to introduce them, if you would, Herman. Well, uh, this one here is Barry Whitson, the drummer. Hey, Barry. And he's 18, and there's Derek Leckenby. Get a front Excuse view me. here. There's a red light on that camera. Right. That's bad. Well, that red light means uh, danger. Oh. <laughs> and this one's Keith Hopwood. He's 18. And that's Carl Green. He's 17. Well, you have a very fine looking group. Uh, I'd like to know who's your hairdresser. <laughs> do you all have the same one? Yeah, we do. We go to Lou Stars and, and Barry Whitwams. <laughs> what, what? Does he do your hair? Do you do your own hair? Yeah, he's, he used yeah. to be a lady's hairdresser, so that's how he's good at cutting our hair. Yeah. Great, and you're only 18 and you've been a hairdresser? Yes, I've trained for about two years. Uh, ladies' hair, they can be good. <laughs> <laughs> Are any yeah. of you married, Herman? No, thanks. Not, no thanks? Is that no what thanks. you said? Yeah. <laughs> that's a very good comment. Well, I'd like if to... If we were, we wouldn't tell you. Oh, is that right? You no, mean you keep not. secrets? No, we're not. Maybe that's the way you get your name, Hermit. You just keep secrets. Uh, I beg your pardon? You just live in caves. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Really, how did you determine uh, the name Herman's Hermit? Well, we used to watch the Bullwinkle show on television, and there was a fellow in that called Sherman. And um, this fellow called Sherman looked a bit like me with these glasses on. So I got Herman as a nickname, because Sherman sounds all mm -hmm. foreign and that. So he called me Herman, because it was a funny name. And we wanted a name that would go with it, so we tried Herman and the Jackrabbits, and Herman and the Pencil Stencils. <laughs> And then <laughs> ended up with Herman's Hermits. Well, I, I know, Mrs. Brown, you have a lovely daughter. I've been hearing this time and time again, and even my 11-year-old daughter has it's a must on her list to get. I'd like to know, uh, false wait, wall. have you got Mrs. Brown's daughter in there? No, but it's a false wall. It's oh, not it a real wall, folks. It's, it's a false <laughs> wall. <laughs> but what about Mrs. Brown's uh, has a lovely daughter? Was this written by any of you? No, a fellow called Walter Peacock, an English bloke, wrote it. And it was for what? Fella, man, bloke, oh. we call him. Bloke? Chap. Yeah. Bloke. Chappy. You're teaching me new words. Yeah, what so does that chap. mean? That's an English name for a man, you know, a bloke. bloke. Oh, oh brother, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> 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 Hello, bloke. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't oh, say that. <laughs> oh, okay, forget it. I don't know English very well. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, and he wrote it for um, this television show called The Boys. And one of these boys in the program was called Tom Courtney. And he had a girlfriend called somebody Brown. It was Carol Brown or something in the program. Mm -hmm. And she left him and left him all broken hearted. Well, now, are you the one <coughs> that sings the lead in this? Yeah. Could you just, one line, Mrs. Brown, could you just say that, you know? Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. Oh, very good. I would swoon, but I forgot <laughs> how. <laughs> there you go. Let's <laughs> chat with some of the others here just a second. You say you was a hairdresser. Where's your home? In Manchester. Oh, oh, come on. In Manchester. In Manchester, yeah. England. Are all of you from Manchester? Yeah, but uh, Herman lives in Liverpool now. Well, how did you uh, manage to get the group together? Well, um, Herman's group. Oh, right. Herman. He broke up, you see, and um, me and Dave were in a group, and we broke up. Yeah, we were. And the you broke up. Yeah. How about that? And the manager sort of joined us all together. Uh-huh. And, then and what instrument? <laughs> you, are you the drummer? Yeah, I'm the drummer. Good. You don't look like a drummer for some reason. Everyone says Carl's a drummer. Okay. He's yeah. the upper yeah. 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 These are drummers' hands, you see, but everyone thinks... Delicate hands. Yeah, big hands. Big hands. Do drummers usually have large hands? Do you have small hands? Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> yours yours look like they've had a comb in them. A comb? Because you imagine... A comb. Because you imagine going to an hairdresser and someone putting their hands on you like that. That's why I give it, that's <laughs> why I give it up. <laughs> that's right. And you're a, a one of the guitarists, right? Yeah, I'm a guitar. Do you do any singing? No, they, <coughs> they don't let me, you know. They don't let you <laughs> sing? How about dancing? Do you dance around with a guitar? Oh, yeah, sometimes. We're going to go way over here to the South 40. What would you say? I said, he gets down on his knees and rocks sometimes, yeah. Are you guilty of this also? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Lloyd in... George knows my father. What is it? Lloyd George knows my father. And father knows Lloyd George. That's his father's wife. His, his father's wife is Lord George? That's yes. That's his mother. <laughs> Come on, you guys are putting me on. I 
think that'll make a hit, but I don't know where. <laughs> well, you well, completely I'd live folks. I'd live folks. That was, I'd live. Now, do you want all the royalties off of this one? Yeah, I think we only get threatens in the name on those. Oh, is that right? Yeah, those are the Woolworths ones. Now, this being the second time you've been in the country, are you spending some of the money you're making? <laughs> <laughs> we spend some of the money, yeah. Leave the last bit out. I beg your pardon? We're spending some money, yeah. We spent minute. most of it. Hmm? What did you say? <coughs> it makes us sound like counterfeiters, you know. If I don't pick up every word you all say, my teenage viewers will never forgive me. That's why I keep switching back and forth. Oh, teenage no, we're viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing it all the money we're making, you know. All the money you're making. Earning. Shall yeah, I say that's earning? That's, that's, that's better. Yeah, make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be an engraver, you see, and I make oh, money. That's, that's what right. I do. He forged it, you know. All forged pound notes. Money. He's yeah. what we call a bloke. Oh, uh, okay. Now you all are going to get me in trouble. I'll bet you. Why? You're not a bloke. Oh, well, I'm gl I'm well, glad. We call you ladies in England. And Thank birds. you very much. And That's birds. And, uh, and we also call them other things. But you're a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Herman. And uh, you're playing at Wedgwood tonight. Wedgwood. And yes, what? yes. That's the name of the park where you'll be in the amphitheater. Uh -huh. There. Ha ha. You have wild animals roaming around. A big pardon? Wild animals roaming around the park. Yes, we have uh, lions, and uh, I think Mrs. Brown's daughter is going to be out oh, there. Oh, that's good. I think she's been looking for you. She's lovely. Yes, I, <laughs> so I understand. Well, I, I'll ask you this. What about your other records? I understand that uh, it's very unusual to have three hit records in the top 40. I think it's just lucky. Lucky? Yeah. You mean you don't think that you deserve it? Luck is something that you get by chance. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only chance that they were all released and m that they're all liked. You know, everyone could have said, ooh, what a rubbishy record. Mm -hmm. So it's only a look that everyone liked them, isn't it? Now, uh, Silhouette is one of the other records. Silhouette, yeah, that's an old American number. Mm -hmm. That was number one in England a bit ago. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to do so well here, though. What is the other one now? I uh, remember can't You Hear My Heartbeat, that was number can't one. Can't You Hear My Heartbeat? No, Can't You Hear My Heartbeat. Can't You Hear My Heartbeat? No, Can't. Can't. Can't you hear my heartbeat? Oh, yeah, that? that was lovely. Good. <laughs> the rain in Spain. <laughs> right. That's strong. Right. Well, let me... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use this as a hammer in just a minute. Um, I know that if I was a teenager, and I'm not, uh, obviously, I would have many intimate questions to ask you, but since I'm not, maybe you have something you'd like to... Uh, a uh, message you'd like to give the American teenagers? Oh, we love them all. All of them. Every last Every one. Every single now, one. Now, is that really I true? Know, I didn't like that one who threw that thing on stage and hit me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, was it a kiss? It's no, a brick. <laughs> 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 well, really, how do you feel about uh, so many mobs and, and the kids all running Oh, I think it's you? great. You know, it's I mean, good. such good receptions. Lovely. It's and we love all getting booed off. We'd sooner get screamed on, on all that. And, and People screaming on the stage. And but people going. can't hear you sing when they're screaming all the time. Oh, it might be a good well, thing. <laughs> 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 well, uh, I know you're going to be here just this one night, and this tape or this film will be shown after your performance. But uh, where do you go from here? Back to New York. To New York? Tonight, yeah. When are you going back to England? Oh, God. Another seven weeks yet before we go back. Seven weeks. Do you have any uh, television appearances lined up? Yeah, are we allowed to see them on this? Please. Well, we've got Hollow Blue recording that tomorrow, if it's tomorrow, Wednesday, yeah. Tomorrow's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. And then we're doing Shindig in Los Angeles soon, I don't know when that is, so. Good, well, it'll be on our station, Shindig will be, so yeah, we'll yeah, tell Sullivan them about Oh, and uh, Eddie, Ed Sullivan. Are you going to be on his show yeah. also? Good. Yeah. Then you're really making the junkets around the country. Junkets. Uh, junkets. <laughs> junkets. Junket. J-U-N-K-E-T. What does that mean? That means, uh... Well, <laughs> it means a it tour. It means a junket. <laughs> no, uh, you go on a junket. This means you go on a tour. Oh. And you go from here to there and there and there. Oh. A junket. A junket. A junket's a kind of food in England, you know. Well, it's, it's like a filler, a filler for ice cream. That's it, something like right. that. Whipped cream or something, yeah. Don't wait. I will have to make one confession here in front of all my stodgy old friends that say they don't like rock and roll. I've, I don't think I have ever met more vibrant personalities <laughs> in my life. There you go, you're vibrating. Maybe That's just it. cheeky, you know. And tr truly beautiful <laughs> hair. The, the texture oh. of their hair. I'm going to get their seat. Are we getting it cut tomorrow? No, I think it looks fine. No, we're getting it cut tomorrow. It's See, long. tell them you like it and they don't even want it. No. Thanks for being with us in Oklahoma City and we'll look to see you come back oh. pretty soon. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks for letting us be here.
Champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Champagne. Yeah. 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 Well, no, he uses uh, Head and Shoulders <laughs> commercial. But he wears his uh, shorter than you guys, of course, uh, but uh, more or less in this effect, a little bit shorter. And then, of course, trimmed ears. They won't allow him to yeah, run yeah. through. Actually, you get a lot of electricity in it around here. Yes, it does. On Broadway, Listen, is there any way? He has uh, our station manager just left for Europe today. He has two teenagers and one girl. He has one girl near like 15 and 16. Is there any time that George Gooby told him not to bring them and, uh, you know, out just to meet you all? Is there any time tonight or between now and then they could just meet you? Yes, sure. wonder where. Just before. You know, I've often wanted to be a hermit, and this is just about as near as I'll ever come. This is Herman's Hermit, and this is Herman. How'd you do? How are you? Fine, thanks. You're in Oklahoma City for the first time and had a great welcome, I understand, at the airport this afternoon. Yeah, it was lovely. Oh, uh, now, all of the boys that I'd like if to... If we were, we wouldn't tell you. Oh, is that right? You no, mean you keep not. secrets? No, we're not. Maybe that's the way you get your name, Hermit. You just keep secrets. Uh, I beg your pardon? You just live in caves. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Really, how did you determine uh, the name, Herman's Hermit? Well, we used to watch the Bullwinkle show. They're with you. I'd like for you to introduce them, if you would, Herman. Well, uh, this one here is Barry Whitson, the drummer. And Barry? And he's 18. And there's Derek Leckenby. Call Derek, tell short. them hello, because they're, like, they're oh, nice <laughs> get a front Excuse view me. here. There's a red light on that camera. Right. <laughs> well, that red light means uh, danger. Oh. <laughs> and this one's Keith Hopwood. He's 18. And that's Carl Green. He's 17. Well, you have a very fine-looking group. Uh, I'd like to know who's your hairdresser. <laughs> do you all have the same one? Yeah, we do. We go to Lou Stars and, and Barry Whitwams. <laughs> what, what, does he do your hair? Do you do your own hair? Yeah, he's, he used yeah. to be a ladies' hairdresser, so that's how he's good at cutting our hair. Yeah. Great, and you're only 18 and you've been a hairdresser? Yes, I've trained for about two years. Uh, ladies' hair, they can be <laughs> <laughs> Are any yeah. of you married, Herman? No, thanks. Not, no thanks, is that no what thanks. you said? Yeah. <laughs> that's a very good comment. 